Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Ball. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Allie, take it away. Thanks, B.A. Well, the NBA's play-in tournament is exciting. It's a way to keep teams in the mix, but it's had its share of critics. Luka Doncic said, quote, I don't understand it. You play all season to get into the playoffs. Then maybe you lose two in a row and you're out. I don't see the point. Guys? Yeah, Allie, team's definitely motivated to stay in the top six. Good stuff there. Thank you. All right, check it out. Golden State's opening lineup. The Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson, the guards. Green out there with Andrew Wiggins. And it's Thompson in at the small forward. And for the Nets, Seth Curry is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then it's Ben Simmons. Then there's Kevin Durant. And it's Drummond in at the five spot. And both of these teams accustomed to winning the battle of the boards. Grant, when you think of ferocious rebounders from your era, who comes to mind? Oh, wow. I think of Dennis Rodman, Kevin Garnett, Dwight Howard, three of the best all-time rebounders. Now here's Curry. The long-distance three is buried. Well, if you play that far off of Steph Curry, that pull-up game starts to become a weapon. On the wing, Durant. The three nails it from three. Oh, you got to love the back and forth showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Clay Thompson is an all-time great, one of the best shooters hands down, key part of the great dynasties in Golden State. And he knocks down the first one. Clay can sometimes get overshadowed by his teammates, but Grant, he's definitely one of the stars in this league. And it seems that Clay doesn't mind that at times he's overlooked. He's all about winning and not worried about press. He's just a great teammate who's easy to play with. Now here's Irving. The kick out to Simmons. Oh, he tries a three. The rebound by Clay Thompson. And stolen by Simmons. On the break. No luck on that one. And the Warriors with possession. Here's Curry. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. All is well with Curry right now finishing through contact. You feel like he knows that's what is coming and plays that scenario out as he gets to the layup. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Showing off the dribble moves, able to create for himself. I love it. Pass to Irving. On the wing, Curry. The kick out to Simmons. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Simmons has got five points. And this is huge when Simmons connects from deep, showing commitment to wanting to improve from there. Green, the pass to Thompson. Another three for Golden State. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Oh, great concentration from Irving. He's focused on the rim, not the contact. Love it. Curry draws the double. On the wing, Thompson. Guarded by Duran. Thompson passes to Curry. Five to shoot. From deep three-point range. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. You know, sometimes basketball is not all that complicated. Just let Stephen Curry shoot threes and get out of the way. It's good. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. 
Curry against Irving. The three from Thompson. Another three for Golden State. Just love the flow and the mechanics of what Clay does so efficiently with that J. Durant for three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. And here's Thompson for three. Poole finds Thompson. Another three for Golden State. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Durant drives in. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Warriors. They definitely had a hot hand from three-point range to this point. Always nice to start out like that. And you also have to give them some credit for the ball movement today. Their assist numbers a little bit above average. That's impressive. Aldridge has checked in for Brooklyn. Well, the defense is paying so much attention to what Stefan's doing. It's going to lead to baskets for this offense like that one. Now here's Aldridge. Irving for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Irving's got five points. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's Iguodala. And the Warriors with another three. I mean, just hitting all their shots early. What an offensive game plan. It must be the coaching. Here's Simmons. The kick out. Curry fires for three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Terrific playmaking from Simmons. Getting the ball into his hands off a wide open shooter. Irving against Curry. Launches it. Another three for Golden State. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Brooklyn trailing. And looking at the career of Curry, his legacy is set. The titles, records, numbers all cemented him as a legend. Now here's Wiggins. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And that one's good. Thompson. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And the shot goes. The attacking, aggressive mindset. You get it right there from Aldridge. In that area, he's focused, and he scores. 54 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Iguodala, and he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Curry draws the double. To the inside. And it's hammered home by Green. And Wiggins' game continues to evolve. You saw that right there. Good eye movement found the shooter. Irving. Curry with some nice D. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Now here's Wiggins. Shoots over Durant. Wiggins, no good. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Outside Curry. And the Warriors with another three. Well, right now, Steph is just toying with the defense, and it feels like he is the puppeteer in this basketball game. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. The Warriors on top, leading by five. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. And the imagination of Kyrie Irving finishing around the rim. He says it goes way back. I just go back to being in my backyard and, you know, just practicing all my layups or all my finishes. You know, that's what I go back to. I mean, this is when I'm in that situation. It's, I kind of feel like the attitude I get is this is what I do. Hey, can't you just picture Kyrie as a kid stretching the limits of his creativity? I can. <laughs> and legend has it growing up. Kyrie's backboard had a corner busted off, so he learned to put spin on the ball to finish around it. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, 
We've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen here from the Warriors, what's your take so far? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. So on the floor for Golden State, Curry and Thompson are the one and the two. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Andre Iguodala, and it's Green in at the five, down low. And Blake Griffin is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. So the Nets making a switch here. Harris is checked in. And so it's Golden State with it. Six-point lead. And it's hammered home by Green. For all the things that Draymond does, when he gets dunks, it makes him even more excitable. And Simmons gets it to go. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. Outside Curry. Pass to Iguodala. Now Curry. This one for three. Griffin pulls down the board. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's Durant. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And KD always in the debate over who's the top dog in this league. And what's interesting is he doesn't really want any part of that discussion. He said... One thing I told myself, don't worry about who people say is the best player. Blocking out distractions is key to achieving greatness. And both free throws good for Durant. And of course, Kevin Durant signing a big extension this summer, fresh off a gold medal for the U.S., where he was the most dominant player in the world in Tokyo. And now locked in his next four years with the Brooklyn Nets. A great deal for him and a great deal for his squad. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Thanks, B.A. Well, the Warriors have had a big problem committing fouls. Coach Steve Kerr has drilled them on moving their feet, not getting baited into the cheap ones. He said, quote, we talk about it every day. And Stephen Curry said, quote, it's on all of us to hold each other accountable, being in the right position. Yep, and that's why he is who he is. Good stuff, Allie. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. For three, here's Harris. Sinks the tray. Harris has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Curry passes to Green. The rebound by the Nets. Right side, Durant. Irving for three. And the Nets, another three. An overlooked part of his game. Irving's about a career 40% shooter from deep. Out to Thompson. Takes the three. And he sinks it again. Seven of seven from the field now. Whoo, this guy is as hot as they come from distance. Defensively, you almost have to pick him up once he crosses half court. Irving, that's good. Well, we know Kyrie Irving can carry a full boat offensively, but his scoring tonight has been next level. Pass to Thompson. Puts up a three. Griffin pulls down the board. The Nets have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. For three, Durant. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Here's Harris. Another shot. He can't hit that time. The Warriors go the other way with it. On the wing, Thompson. Curry passes to Wiggins. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, oh. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. And how about the acrobatics from Andrew Wiggins? Way up that time. Down low. Here's Griffin. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul. Well, we've had our fair share of father-son duos in the league. But Brent, you and your dad, one of only four duos to win a championship ring each. Well, I know I was fortunate to win two and not just one. But my dad was really responsible for the one in Golden State 1975 being the MVP of that final series B.A. 
Irving feeling confident, just rising up and knocking down the mid-range J. Curry from deep three-point land. No good on the triple. Ah, you love basketball. Couldn't miss in the first quarter. Now can't make it in the second quarter. Got to be eating at him just a bit. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. They double-team Curry. Out to Thompson. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Thompson's got 25 points. His production from range has been nothing short of astounding. Right side, Irving. Beyond the arc. And how about that? Eight for nine now. And now he's dropped two three-pointers in each quarter. To the paint. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. The three from Thompson. Another three for Golden State. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. From Ten feet away, and Irving, the bucket on the assist from Griffin. He's got 22. Well, playing with a bunch of different stars throughout his career, Kyrie has learned to be effective without the ball in his hand. Buries it from three. And the Warriors lead by seven. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And here's Brown for three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Pass to Green. The kick out to Wiggins. And stolen by Simmons. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Yep, that one's good. And now it's just a two-point Warrior lead. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Wiggins with it. Here he goes. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And when he is on the move and starts to show his athleticism, that's when the special moments come from Andrew Wiggins. Out to the right wing. From deep, here's Simmons. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Willing passers, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. And so it's Clay Thompson making highlights for the Golden State Warriors. And so far, nine triples in this one. Just pulling the trigger with absolute confidence. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. And you know, Klay Thompson has been really making it happen, guys. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. They've got Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving out there with Seth Curry. Then it's Andre Drummond, and it's Simmons in at the power forward. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. The Warriors trailing. I'll tell you, man, Irving can do many things for your ball club. But at the top of the list, he's a tremendous shooter with great range and great confidence. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Now here's Curry. 13 points in the game. The three from Thompson, hauled in by Curry. You know, if you were to hand select a player to take the last shot for you, no one would bat an eye if you chose Kyrie Irving. Ever since his shot over Steph Curry in 2016, Irving's been a legend. And some of it's his mental approach. People say he marches to the beat of a different drum. That may help him in those big moments. Pass to Thompson. The kick out, Curry. And stolen by Simmons. Here's Irving. Rebounded by Green. Green's got four rebounds now. Curry draws the double. Thompson outside. Curry with a steal. 
Now Drummond. Now Simmons. Pounded by Wiggins. And there's Simmons on the assist by Drummond. And now it's a nine-point Brooklyn lead. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Well, the Warriors shooting 76%. You don't see this often. And the Warriors call time here. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Here's Poole. The Nets making their last shot. Thompson outside. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Irving, the pass to Simmons. And the Nets, another three. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation and allows everything to feel perfect. The perfect shot feels effortless to me. Serene and quiet. It's only me, the rim, and the basketball. Powerful words from Stephen. It is a thing of beauty, Allie. Excellent. Curry, that's good. <laughs> Anything the opponent does, trust me, Steph can do it better. He's got to be the best shooter that we've ever seen in the game. Now here's Irving. Give him 30. Pass to Durant. Inside. Here's Drummond. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got six assists now in the game. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. Here's Simmons. 20 points for him. The shot by Drummond, no good. Wiggins against Simmons. Outside, Green. Here's Wiggins, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Yeah, Draymond Green, we know he plays with attitude, and he plays with force. But his teammates appreciate the unselfish approach he has. Curry finds Drummond. The kick to Durant from outside the arc. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And it's Green missing. The Nets have gone 8 of 10 in the third and looking in control. Thompson passes to Curry. Let's it go from deep. Brooklyn with the board. To the middle. Here's Simmons. And that one's long. Thompson with it. Now guarded by Curry. Thompson passes to Curry. Drops in the three. Curry's got six here in the quarter. That's a good look from Clay right there. Just the court awareness. And that guy was wide open. Simmons against Poole. Back to Irving. There's the triple. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Irving's got 33 points. Last year, Brent Curry climbing the ranks on all-time made threes. Incredible to see how fast he's ascended the totem pole. Well, the question's going to be, B.A., is, is how big will that lead be once it is that Steph Curry retires. It's almost like Stockton and the, the Steel's numbers. Like you, nobody's touching John Stockton's Steel numbers. Feel the same way with Curry's three ball. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's his first foul. So Brooklyn going with almost an entire new group here. Aldridge is checked in for Drummond. Claxton comes in for Ben Simmons. Brown, he's checked in for Durant. And it's Mills in for Kyrie Irving. And a new group getting ready for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Green. Bielitsa comes in for Wiggins. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Klay Thompson. And Peyton is subbed in for Stephen Curry. And it's in there. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Mills. And here's Curry for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Peyton. 
connects from downtown. And it's now only a five-point Nets lead. Outside, Brown. Three-pointer. And no good. One second left. That one is off. Kyrie Irving has been on display for the Nets. Knocking down three after three. He's up to seven three-pointers tonight. We'll be right back after this word. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. And so it's Golden State with it, trailing by five. And so in the game for the Warriors, Nemanja Bialica is out there with Kevon Looney. Then there's Otto Porter, then it's Jordan Poole, and it's Peyton in at the two. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Nets. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't cooled off any in that regard. And also, they've been very committed to just this hard-charging, attacking style of offense. A lot of points tonight coming off of penetrating the gaps on defense. Here's Claxton. Back to Curry. Inside. Out left to the wing. And here's Mills from the arc. Porter pulls it in. And the Warriors shooting 71%. Their offense has looked unstoppable all game long. Poole shot is off. Well, Brooklyn's shooting has been on another level. 68% for the game. And it's good. Two points. It's winning time. And that's a winning play. The Warriors trailing. And so they choose to intentionally foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Bielitsa. And it's Stephen Curry in for Peyton. Down low. Here's Poole. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. The three ball. And Claxton gets the bucket. Claxton's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Golden State with the ball. Six-point game. To the paint. Here's Kuminga. Offensive board. The three from Curry. On target from range. Curry's got nine points now in the second half. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. Claxton, again the net score. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Nice shot by Kuminga. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. Now here's Mills. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Well, there's a couple things that Patty is working on to be a better player in this league, and finding the open man is one of them. He's undersized for a four, but his hops level the playing field. Curry against Curry. Drops in the layup for two. And the Nets lead by six. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for a shot. Oh, deflected and stolen by Aldridge. The pull up. And the Nets get it back. Here's the three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Well, the defense surprised that he's even out there. They're going to let him have that. He's not a great three point shooter. Got to let him have something. Pool outside. Outside Porter. Back to Pool. Five on the clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Here's Looney. Blocked! Fast break, Brooklyn. Here's Curry. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair.
And that one falls for Curry. Brooklyn making some changes. Simmons has checked in for Aldridge. Durant comes in for Brown. And Kyrie Irving is subbed in for Mills. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Thompson comes in for Porter Jr. The Warriors have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Here's Poole. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First free throw is good. So he hits both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. The kick to Durant from behind the arc. Fires in the triple. And the Nets lead by 11. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Drummond's checked in for Claxton. Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Elevates and detonates the one-hand stuff. Picture perfect. Curry against Thompson. Outside Irving. Curry with a steal. It's Poole on the wing. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Brooklyn's gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Curry finds Irving. Simmons with it to the inside. Here's Drummond. And he banks in the layup. Yeah, Drummond's going to go right back up into that physical play, and he's still going to finish strong. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Thompson. Oh, Durant with a steal. Simmons drives in, and he comes up with a bucket. And now it's a 10-point Brooklyn lead. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift-wrapping points. the first one and that brings him within single digits and the fire that Draymond Green plays with I think is the most admirable quality he knows how to get himself and his teammates going throughout the course of a long grinding 82 game season both shots good from the strike we've got 128 left in the final quarter Here's Irving. Yes, it's good. Irving's got 35 in the game. You just never know where the shots are going to come from, from Kyrie on the inside. So creative with his finishes. Curry with it. Irving picks him up. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kyrie Irving. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect. So we'll head to the line for two. So Curry nails both of them. You think about that season for the Golden State Warriors. Stephen Curry winning his second MVP trophy. 73 wins. He was the first unanimous winner in league history of the most valuable player award. And he led the league in scoring at over 30 a game. Yep, that one goes. Drummond's got four points now in the quarter. And the clock will wind down on this one. Just a solid effort and a good win for the Nets. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seized full control of this game. <laughs> B.A., the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to pull things together when things got tough, and of course, they closed strong. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Kyrie Irving. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy infected his teammates and the wrecking ball on both ends. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. 
And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. <laughs> Amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Now here's Irving. Curry, the kick to Durant. Let's the three fly, and they recover it. Drummond passes to Irving. The three from Curry. He drops it from range. And the Nets lead by nine. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. When you think about when Kyrie is healthy, he works himself into a great rhythm. He is the ultimate difference maker, just someone who can get in there and take over a game and a franchise and get you to the finals. Pool from long range. Yes! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Well, Looney knows his role, good at keeping the ball moving and finding the right man for the shot. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. And the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Claxton. The elites are defending to the middle. Here's Harris. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And there's the whistle. Foul on the Golden State Warriors. Good on the first. And that stretches their lead to eight. And so both free throws good. And it's a nine-point game here. Ooh, I think that's a wrap. And I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. So we see the Nets get the win here. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Katie, you were able to clamp down defensively as the game wore on. What was the key there? Well, we stayed patient. We could touch the shots. They hit some tough ones early on. And I think in a pick and roll, we made a solid adjustment. And uh, we turned that around. Coach did it, made a great adjustment. And we was able to get rebounds to go. The patience was so important. It paid off. Thanks, Katie. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. For Brent Berry, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as we present our New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving.